Hello everybody, Paul Richards here, and today I want to show you three ways to power extra monitors. We get this question a lot, uh, especially in the house of worship market where, let's say they're live streaming, they have their live streaming booth, and they've got one or two or multiple other monitors that they want to be able to see the live stream. And we're going to talk about this from like an in-house, in-room solution, and then we'll also talk about it places all around the world, for example. Um, but the first one I want to talk about is, first of all, we talked about in our last video, if you didn't see it, go back and see our last video on confidence monitors. So we might want to power a confidence monitor to show the pastor or our talent, whoever it is, what's being live streamed to the world. And this is just a, a mount that you can roll up, put the television on and connect it to the network or use a smart TV or extend HDMI to it. So there's a lot of different ways to do it. And, um, one of the things we're going to talk about is very first one is extending HDMI. So you can use an HDMI distribution amplifier. What that does is it takes one HDMI input and sends it out to two. And there you can buy one to four, you can buy one to eight, one to 12, I believe. You can buy matrix switchers. So a lot of different products out there, but the simple thought process is that you can take a single HDMI and split it off to lots of different televisions. Then, once you've split it, you can extend it, okay? And um, we'll talk a little bit about extensions as well here. Um, let me see if I can find my extension um, picture here. And we want to split and extend the video all the way out to wherever we're going. So I got a little tip for you here. Extensions and splitters are somewhat expensive. So what you might wanna do is do one extension all the way to wherever you're going to split it then split it so you don't have to buy multiple extensions think so just think about the different scenarios here if you're already if you need your hdmi where you are you might want to split it there and then split it again and then um, you know you can do multiple splits and you can do a lot of different layouts but if you have two let's say you have a monitor for you have one confidence monitor and you have one monitor in the lobby where when people are walking into the reception you want them to be able to see you know, inside of the church or something along those lines, you can split the video that way. The other way to do it is to use the new tech NDI. Now I just showed you how to use it for a confidence monitor in our last video. In fact, right here, I'm using the new tech NDI and you can see that it's, it's a zero latency representation of exactly what I'm showing right here. Pretty cool. So you can do that as well. You can turn any Windows computer, roughly you need about an i5 processor, into a monitor, which you can just plug right into a television, and um, you can use a new tech NDI that way. Um, and that would be over ethernet cables. Um, and then the final way that I wanted to show you, so way one was just extending HDMI. There's also wireless HDMI extenders now that are a little expensive, but they are reliable. There's one from Xtron called the E-Link, and there's a few others we can recommend if you have questions, ask in the comments below. Um, but then the final most affordable way to do it is actually just using a smart TV to tune in to your stream on YouTube Live. So all smart TVs have a YouTube um, app now. So if you're streaming to YouTube, you can use YouTube to redistribute uh, the video to those displays. Now I will tell you there's going to be about a minute of delay, a minute of what we call latency in the industry, but it's still kind of worthwhile. It's definitely the e cheapest, easiest way, and especially if you're talking about having like a hospice or a secondary office or a secondary building that's not on your same network, if you want them to be able to watch the live stream, smart TVs are perfect for that. Um, you know, we have a lot of churches who have a secondary location or a retirement home or some other place they want to be able to watch the stream. And this is a really easy, cheap way to do it anywhere in the world. People can tune into your live stream just on their smart TVs. So just think about those three ways, you know, in the building for a confidence monitor or for a... Um, extra display. You might want to look at the new tech NDI, which would involve using ethernet cables in your local area network. It also works over Wi-Fi, um, Wi-Fi depending on the latency that you have and the, the switches and, and things that you have set up. Um, HDMI extensions, which are super reliable. And the thing I like about HDMI extensions is there's no setup. You know, you just leave the television on, tuned into that input on your television. As soon as you're sending video, it's on. Now with the with the YouTube app, 
you actually have to go and tune into the YouTube app. So it's a little different, but there's three ways to go ahead and use the, the um, to extend that video to the places that you need to uh, show extra monitors on your display. Thanks, guys. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.